Alright guys, welcome to week one of the WPF, the World Pokemon Federation, A Division for Season 4. This is the League's first generation in, uh, so this League's first week in Generation 8. Um, I am playing against Joe Pick. Uh, I've never actually played against him before. I've played against most of these coaches before, or I've seen them play in other leagues that I've been in, but I haven't had the uh, honor of playing with them in. But I'm actually... I'm uh, fairly unfamiliar with Tropic. His team is Megalopony, Togekiss, Donphan, Metagross, Noivon, Regice, Rotom, Wash, Darmanitan, Drapion, Shaman, and Miss Magius. Which is a pretty a pretty scary team for a lot of people to go up against. Uh, the 135 base speed Megalopony, who has no switch-ins with normal and fighting moves being around, um, being scrappy is very scary, especially for someone who's, uh, like myself, whose psychics are, like, Hooper and Unbounds, and in DDD, neither of which resist fighting, as well as Espeon. Um, so, it is a pretty uh, somewhat intimidating matchup for me to go up against, first things first. Um, so, I've got a very defensive team, I think, which I think is fairly understandable against a team like this, with uh, two, I find, fairly decent win conditions that can be walled by some members of his team. So here we've got a Rocky Helmet Skarmory uh, with Brave Bird, Roost, Toxic and Spikes. Not Toxic Spikes, mind you. Um, so Spikes are very good because they can help chip down the Lopany, the Donphan, the Metagross at a higher rate, which is very good. Higher rate than Rock Scan as well as being able to stack them. Um, this notably does not have Whirlwind or Defog or Taunt, um, so I actually don't have any removal but I do have Espeon, and the only hazards he has are Toxic Spikes on Drapion, and then Rocks on Donphan and Metagross, so... If I... I'm not too worried about Rocks generally, because I have Recovery on a lot of my Pokémon, and... I have Toxtricity to absorb Toxic Spikes if he does wind up bringing them, which I'm not sure that he would. Um, but yeah, so this is my Skarmory set, it obviously defensively, so that it can check Metagross, it can check Megalopony, it can check... Um, some of the Manitans, but probably not the Manitan. Uh, it, can it can check Drapion quite well, um, as well as being able to spike on a lot of the members of his team and being able to get recovery on a decent amount of his team as well. Um, that's meant to be 248. My bad, I'll just put 4 in speed because uh, I don't know. Then I have Garchomp here, who is another bulky set with the leftovers. 84 attack adamant, 200 speed, so 290 means that I outspeed adamant, drapion, and darmanitan, which I figure if I'm going to be outspeeding togekiss, who it's at 284, so maybe 285, I might as well just lose a little bit more bulk or lose a little bit more attack to be able to outspeed both of those sets. I think that was a good play nonetheless. Um, adamant just means that I get the most out of my EVs. Uh, m most out of my nature, but just because of how strong, even with very little investment, Garchomp is in, on the physical side. Earthquake, Stone Edge, and Poison Jab hits the entire team, just like uh, his Earthquake. His Earthquake switch-ins are Togekiss, Shaman, Noivern, Rodon Wash, and it's Magius, who are all hit either very powerfully by Stone Edge in the case of Miss Magius, Rodon Wash, or a hit super effectively by it, like Togekiss and Noivern, or super effectively by Poison Jab, like the Shaman. So hopefully this does go in quite well against a lot of the team. Um, obviously it's not as good as it could be against the Rotom Wash. Hopefully I'll be able to Toxic it with Skarmory. Toxic is there because Skarmory is easily... Uh, Rotom Wash is the best switch in Skarmory. Uh, then here I have the Doe Blade, which is Swords Dance, Shadow Sneak, Gerable, and Close Combat. Um, obviously very, very little speed, because I am a Jaro Ball set. Um, Swords Dance, after a Swords Dance, uh, these three attacks can just absolutely go in against the entirety of his team. Um, I do wish I could kind of run a faster set, but it just does not have enough speed to be able to outspeed the Pokemon I would want it to. Um, so, just after a Swords Dance, using the Sneak Priority, uh, it can live a hit from Megalopony from full because of the delicious Eviolite boost. Um, hopefully I'll be able to send wishes into it with Alola Lola, which I'll get to in a little bit. But it, um, the Jarrah Balls are incredibly strong against the entirety of his team, even against the slower members of his team like Regice. And then Close Combat is able to break through the Lopany and the um, 
Rodomosh, who resists his um, Rodomosh resists steel, and then Lopni is quite fast. Uh, sorry, is not is weak to fighting is the main reason for it. Um, so then the only real defensive issue for this can be the Don Fan, which I think I have a decent team to be able to help chip. Like Skarmory walls it, Garchomp goes in, Alumbamola is pretty good against it as well. Um, so then I have Toxtricity, who is my other win condition. This is Shift Gear, um, Jewel Stab, and Broom Bus with the Throat Spray. Um, so I hit like, well over 500 special attack after a um, after a Throat Spray boost. And Overdrive and Boom Bus just have such ridiculous base powers when boosted by the combination of Stab as well as Punk Rock. Which Punk Rock, if you don't know, is a free life orb damage. I don't know, it just says boost, but it's 1.3 times damage on um, all sound moves, as well as you take half damage from sound moves. So that's very strong. Sludge Bomb uh, hits the the Shaman, obviously, as well as it's generally a stab move. Um, it just it, it is an incredibly strong Pokemon, and after a Shift Gear, if I can get a Shift Gear off and get the Throat Spray boost on something, then I can just do so much damage to his team, as well as I'm already faster than Choice Scarf to Manitan, which I do kind of expect. He... I'm not entirely sure what we'll his counterplay that he's planning on bringing is in relation to Rybombi's um, Sticky Web, but I don't have Sticky Web, so I didn't feel that I could run a slower team, a uh, slower set on the Toxtricity as much as I would have appreciated the bulk. Um, so then I have Espeon, here is my Choice Scarfer. It's faster than Darmanitan or Drapion if they're Choice Scarf, though obviously it does not very good against the Drapion. Um, my set is Psychic, Shadow Ball, Baton Pass, in Power Eyes. Baton Pass is legal without passing stats. Baton Pass means that if I'm in on Drapion and I somehow have the ability to click what move I want to do, I can click Baton Pass and I'm immune to Pursuit because Baton Pass is broken. And for some reason, they allow Pursuit in this league and Hidden Power as well. Um, personally, not a fan of either of those decisions, but hopefully I'll wind up enjoying the league nonetheless. Um, modest 394 special attack is very nice in terms of psychic and shadow ball. Shadow ball predominantly for the metagross. Um, and then hidden power ice just lets me hit the Noivern if I am ever concerned about that. Particularly, I was deciding between a few different moves, and honestly, I just couldn't figure out what else I would want more. Yeah. Uh, a little more is Rocky Helmet, it's got Scald and Ice Beam, Ice Beam hits the Togekiss, hits the um, Noivern. Um, I, I was considering running Toxic on it, but again, I think I'll be able to Toxic the Rotom Wash fairly reliably with Skarmory, and I'll take a burn on the Rotom Wash anyway. Uh, wish and Protect just means that I have a lot of the bulk around here, and I'll be able to wish into my Espeon, I'll be able to wish into my into my Dewblade, I'll be able to wish into my Garchomp, because that also does not have recovery outside of Leftovers. Um, and it can wall basically anything except for like a banded adamant metagross with thunder punch just really well um, so hopefully this does work out pretty well I'm just gonna get onto my opponent and then challenge them um, I think I need to be on sports actually I haven't actually recorded my um, pre-draft breakdown yet. I'll have to be doing that shortly after this. I just have had a fairly busy week. I'm actually currently in a team league as well. Okay, well that's not too hard. Um, yeah, I'm in a team draft league within the World Pokemon Federation, so I got drafted. Uh, that's not the right one. I got drafted. Uh, <laughs> One of the guys waited a little bit, a little bit of time, uh, so that a lot of people had used a lot of their points, so that he could just use. He had a hundred k for five people, and then he just slammed a twenty six k three people out that he just wanted to guarantee for himself, um, including myself as well as uh, two other coaches. I was the first one, uh, and it, it was pretty funny. Okay, so what we're seeing in this matchup is we do have. 
decent few of the Pokemon. Um, no Drapion. Glad to see no Drapion. Uh, no Metagross. <sighs> Shaman is a bit annoying. I may have underprepared for Shaman a bit, I think. Um, especially if it's got like Hidden Power Ice. I feel very well prepared for Dominaton. Pretty well prepared for the Togekiss, because I've got my Garchomp that's faster. I've got Dude Blade that can use the Yara Ball into it. I've got Toxtricity, which to some extent gets set up on it. Um, it just does seem like a game where Toxtricity does just win. Quite potentially. I think I need some chip on Donphan, some chip on Megalopony, but I think that chip on Megalopony can just be rocks and a spike. Um, I think I lead Garchomp. Uh, Garchomp means that I can just kind of. Uh, it's good against. It's less good against Megalopony, it's less good against Shaman. What is happening with my audio? Oh, that's what's happening with my audio. I just realized that I can't hear everything that you guys are hearing. Um, so hopefully, it's not too loud. Um, I'm just going to put the music down because I, I was wondering why it was an issue. I just realized I didn't have my headphones plugged in because I still haven't plugged into my phone. Okay, that's better. Um, yeah. So here I think I can just click rocks for free. Um, so he takes, obviously, the Rocky Helmet chip there. Um, maybe I should have gone for Stone Edge. I kind of wish I had Toxic instead of Poison Jab, though obviously Toxic. Shaman is a natural cure, so it doesn't really care about Toxic. Um, does that tell me anything about Dimanitan? I, would Im I wouldn't imagine that it would be Choice Band in this matchup. Yeah, it's not Choice Band. Uh, does that tell me that it's Adamant? That does not tell me for sure whether it's Adamant or Jolly. Yeah, so it could be Adamant, it could be Jolly. Um, Espeon's actually really nice in this matchup. He didn't bring any resists to Psychic, so I could definitely see a late game clean from the Espeon. Um, as well as Dublade. Dublade's definitely nice. The main problem is the Rotom Wash. I'm the Dawn fan. If we do get into position where Skarmory gets a free Stealth Rock, I'm guessing he's, he's really confused as to what he thinks I'm going to be going for. I, I'm not sure why he would take this long. He might be concerned that I'm going for a Sword Stance. I guess? But like, it's not like I can be Z, because there's no Z allowed in this league, nor Dynamax, even though there's a Dynamax button that really is just there and making me want to quick click it, but I won't. Yeah, I'm not sure. Alright. Well, I'm just gonna get the P jab off, I guess. Or should I go into Skarmory? I mean, Skarmory is just such a problem if he gets the thing. And I don't know what set he is at all. Like, I, I've got genuinely no idea. Okay, I'm gonna P-Jab. Okay, I'm faster than him. He's quite bulky. I'm just gonna Poison Jab again. Or should I double? Uh, should I switch? I mean... <laughs> double. I haven't even switched once for this game. Um, well, he doesn't have a Poison Jab resist. Oh, uh, Don Fan. He, his only Poison Jab resist is Don Fan. If he goes Don Fan, that could be pretty bad. I think I'm gonna go SP on here. Because he might double Leech Seed if he stays in. He might Seed Flare. I think I'm, I'm gonna go Espeon. Because he can't Leech Seed Espeon because it has Magic Bounce. It does have Magic Bounce and it's not synchronized, right? Yeah. Okay, so he was predicting Skarmory to come in. Um, um, that's not Espeon. Okay, I should actually calc the damage that Garchomp did. Um, see if we know whether for sure if it's Fizz Death or not. Because at the very least it's got HP investment. I did 40%, which means he's got at least some physically defensive, physical defense investment. Uh, is it possible if he's just like max defense? No. Okay. Um, well, we know he's not max defense. Uh, I think I baton pass here. I can go Skarmory and. He has... I'm going to click Toxic. 
Because if he rapid spins, I'd rather just have the toxic off. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna spike here. It does get knockoff, unfortunately, which is a big roast, but whatever. Uh, I'm gonna roost into rapid spin, I think. Uh, roost into spike, I mean. Because I think he dies to... Okay, I'm gonna toxic here. He can't kill me because I've got my sturdy back because I roosted. Um, this team's actually doesn't really care about the spike as much because he's got. Okay, that is bad, but the 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 toxic sorry the, so the burn is bad, but the toxic into the rotom is very good. I'm gonna go hard garchomp here, protecting a, a volt switch. He clicked in power ice. Well, I'm not good at protecting volt switches, I guess. Uh, I could go into Espeon, because it's natural special defense means it'll take a lot of hits here relatively well. I want to click the... Just, there's just a button here, and it makes me want to click it. Um, I really dislike the fact that they made... That's not... There's no way that was... Um, Offensive with the uh, Will O Wisp and the In Power Ice doing like zero. 50 to 60, yeah. It's known as 25 to 29. That's, that's epic. Um, but it's more about what Espeon takes. Well, Espeon takes a lot of fever goes for, for Hydro Pump. He did not go for Hydro Pump. I'm just gonna Psychic here. He doesn't have a Psychic Resist. He can't leech seed me, so I've at least got that. Uh, he's leech seed protect. That's so annoying. Kind of wish I had the DD now, but then he could leech seed, which is a problem. Okay, well, he can no longer set up hazards, and he can no longer remove my spike. He also doesn't know that I'm Scarf, because that's the... That's like, that he could be thinking that I'm Choice Specs, which... If I was Choice Specs, that'd be pretty spooky. Uh, hopefully, but if he thinks I'm Specs, he might go into Mana Town, because it's Scarf. Um, I would really like to get a Wish into my Garchomp at some point. Using my lama lama. Uh, I'd also wish I slowed my rocks up, but I can still get my rocks up on the shaman because I know that I'm for sure that I'm faster than shaman. I can get my rocks up on the Soga kiss unless it's choice scarf. I can get my rocks up on the rotom wash. So I think uh, I can, I'm not I'm not guaranteed to be able to get my rocks up on it, but I can get my rocks up for sure on shaman and Toga kiss because I know that I am faster than both unless. Togekiss is Choice Scarf, and I've seen nothing to suggest that Togekiss is Choice Scarf. So I'm in a pretty decent position here. Obviously, Lopany, terrifying. I need to make sure that I still have my Espeon around. How much does Espeon take? Now, I'm not sure if he would have brought Quick Attack or Fake Out, because I do, have, of course, have the, um, the Pokemon uh, in DDD with the Psychic Terrain, which means that Fake Out's just a dead boost slot if I did bring my Scarf in DDD set. Um, or even if I didn't bring a Scarf set, if I just have Indeed, then Psychic Terrain just kills Fake Out. Um, I wound up picking Espeon over Indeed because, for one thing, Magic Bounce is nice. Um, but for another thing, because I don't like... I um, if you do, For those of you who don't know, Psychic Terrain was nerfed this generation, it, as well as Electric and Grassy Terrain. They now only provide a 1.3 times boost to their moves, rather than a 1.5 times boost. Okay, so Togekiss is in. Togekiss is here, Togekiss is now. I'm not sure what I can, what he can click that I don't want to go Toxtricity on. Is there a mid ground I should be making? I honestly, I can't see one. What do I do to Togekiss? 38 to 45. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go Toxtricity. Because I think that's on just max HP. 
flamethrower. Okay, well, I'm gonna shift gear here. Maybe I should be overdriving. But if he's faster, then it's bad anyway. Okay, cool. Um, I don't think is punk rock calculated yet. No. Um, we're on wash defensive. Hedge pump can kill me, but it's not guaranteed to. It's also not guaranteed to hit. Um, I think I just boom burst here. I need this damage anyway, and if he misses Hydro Pump, if he doesn't go for Hydro Pump, it's good. It gives me the um, the boost to my from my Throat Spray. Uh, it hits every single Pokemon he has left very, very hard. Um, what do I take from opening? Fake out. 30-35, so yeah, I'm in a good position. He has to come in and fake out me twice with Lopening. Okay, hopefully he doesn't just kill me with the Hydro Pump. He does not just kill me with the Hydro Pump. Um, I'm just going to Boom Burst again here, because there's no reason not to. Uh, he doesn't have any Boom Burst resists. Like, honestly, I only need Overdrive for... um. Yeah. He doesn't have Boom Burst with this. I only need Overdrive for Miss Magus, which he didn't bring. Uh, I guess if he's fake out with low penny, uh, it I, I can do kill, get less kills now. Um, I'm not sure that he is though. I'm definitely faster than low penny. I'm definitely faster than Scarf the Manitan. I'm pretty sure. Uh, I think Galar. Yeah, 476. Yeah. Um, so, not to mention, this isn't even calculating the uh, life orb boost effectively that I'm getting. So, yeah, this is just gonna kill. I think I just win here, in all honesty. Um, well, no, I think he has to play very well with Shaman, uh, with Shaman's Protect, if he does. Yeah, I think Toxtricity, I don't know, it's definitely tier 2, right? Um, I picked it at tier 2. I'm glad that I got some new Pokemon this gen, this uh, game, because I've got a few other drafts this game, this gen, and then, like, my new Pokemon in one of them was Mel Metal, um, which I wouldn't really count, because I have actually used it before. Um, okay. Low Penny Mega... There's no way it lives a boom bust, so basically it has to be fake out here. Um, yeah. I mean, I could just go Garchomp or Alomomola to make him take the chip, or he could just kill him. I'll take I'll take the kill. I mean, Boom Burst is just so strong with the Punk Rock boost. Like, just ridiculous. Shaman. Well, I'm just gonna sludge. I honestly, I feel like he should have gone Shaman earlier, because he didn't know that I had... Um, he didn't know whether I had Sludge Bomb or not. Not to mention the protect turns with Shaman. Um, realistically, he should what he should have done initially is go Shaman protect, sack, well either Lopeny or Damanitan, go Shaman protect, and then maybe go for the double protect there. Um, I'm just gonna slash bomb again here. All right, well that's a. Um, that was a fun game. Um, I don't think he brought the most optimal of Rotom sets to the matchup. I'm really glad that I got to let Toxtricity shine. I was very sure that either Toxtricity or Doble was going to wind up winning. 
because um, Domfan was really the main Pokemon that they had to deal with. Um, and he let me get a Toxic onto that so early, which I think was just a poor play on his behalf. Especially because he waited to, to he spun before I had um, before he'd knocked me off, which meant that he was taking an extra turn of Rocky Helmet that he really didn't need to. Um, like a lot more Molar and Doomblade didn't even get to come out. Uh, the guard jump was strong enough that I couldn't get seated on very well with the Shaman. Um, yeah, I don't know if it was HP Fire or HP Ice on the on the Shaman. I would assume HP Fire for my um, Skarmory and Doublade because they are very good seed flare resists otherwise. Well, nothing's good seed flare resist at minus two with the exception of Skarmory in, and like Celesteel in all honesty. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, That's a very strong 6-0 win in week one. Um, like I said, I, I don't know Joe at all, um, so I feel like he may not do particularly well this season because I am definitely not the strongest coach in A division and he just kind of got completely destroyed week one. But hopefully he, he does have a good season ahead of him. Uh, I'm sure at the very least he'll enjoy it. I, I always enjoy my seasons with the, the WPF. Um, and I'm gonna just like stop recording this now and go film my draft breakdown. Yeah, it's six six or win week one. That's that's a lot of fun, honestly. Espeon coming in clutch. I think Espeon's pretty average as a Pokemon. Um like I wouldn't have drafted it if not for the psychic terrain support that I have. But I'll take it. Um yeah. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next week.